Welcome to another video. Let's talk about the legions 8 through 14. And um, that's one thing I wanted to say. We have 80 subscribers, but only 20 people on our Discord server. So if you want to take talk heresy or any other hobby related stuff, feel free to join our Discord server, for which the link is in the description. Okay, so now the 8th Legion Night Lords. The Night Lords are the only Terror Legion in the Great Crusade and the Heresy. They are they excel in stealth and drop assaults. They have So and they are also in the Great Crusade they forced compliance through basically war crimes. So there was this one uh, this one incident where they thought it's a good idea to force compliance with throwing out the crew of a ship over a city. And as we know the ships in Warhammer are densely populated, so that wasn't the nicest thing to do, so I basically say the blood of uh, the beer kills the fear kills one man and saves a lot. That's their mantra. Um, they have two very interesting color schemes, I have to say. Uh, they have the one, which is just the dark blue, and the uh, and the lightning bolts, which is very nice. If you are a painter, you have you are going to have a delight painting night lords. Or the one I like a, a, a kind of a little more. It's a dark blue metallic with also the lightning bolts. I mean, for me, there are a couple of legions that work better with metallic, and, the, the, and that one of them is the Night Lords. I really like them. I like their style. I maybe not like their combat style, but the uh, the painting is amazing. So, rules-wise, the Night Lords are a melee legion. What? What would you think from criminals with skinning knives? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Um, but no, jokes aside. So um, they uh, they are good to melee when they outnumber you. They have a talent for murder, which means uh, when they outnumber you, they hit and wound you better. <clears throat> but only infantry, I think. Um, no monstrous creatures, but still. If you have a 20-man tactical squad and you're fighting a 10-man tactical squad, you are hitting on threes and wounding on threes. So this is amazing. Also bulkier models count for more models. So assault marines count for two because they have they are bulkier. They count as two models for transports. Um, also they will get new unit, uh, new units and rules in book nine. So. Maybe check them out there. Um, then we come to the 9th Legion Blood Angels. The an angelic host of Sanguinis is the mo are the most noble space marines of the Great Crusade. But they have a dark floor hidden beneath, beneath their angelic features. Which means that they, the Blood Angels let blood so after the battlefield, if they were corpse they before Zanguinius, they were called corpse eaters because they were pretty much eating corpses uh, on the battlefield. And it was a huge paradoxon in the Great Crusade. Because you had these angelic beings, because the the uh, gene seat of Sanguinius changes you so that you look like Sanguinius and they had these angelic beings eating carrion on the battlefield and they were like a paradoxon in itself and Sa when Sanguinius came they learned to um, they learned to hold it together and not do that anymore we all know what happens in 40k so the Blood Angels are red, <laughs> red with black accent, uh, black accents and golden accents, 
Um, it's a nice color scheme to paint. It's uh, on the brighter side of red, so you can paint them darker, but they usually are a little brighter. Um, they also are a furious melee legion, and uh, they adore the use of jump packs because they want to take blight with their primark. Um, they got their rules in Book 8, so they're a fairly new Legion, rules-wise. And they also have almost all of the units released. I think there's a couple of characters they don't have released, but units-wise, I think you have all of them now, which is pretty nice, and also a Leviathan and a Contemptor Dreadnought. Ah yes, and rules-wise, um, if they charge or get charged, they wound better. So, that's a good thing. And I think they wound everyone better, not only infantry. <sighs> now, one of my favorite legions that I'm never going to paint. Because I can't. The Iron Hands. Uh, the Iron Hands... Uh, of... Uh, the Iron Hands legions... The Iron Hands legion, the... Uh, Indomitable Sons of Ferris Manus. were mechanically gifted space marines with an absurd mastery of vehicular combat. But a great disaster befell them in the early heresy, when their Primarch, Ferris Manus, was slain by Fulgrim in a duel. Yes, it's very sad, but they get awesome characters, awesome marine characters. And the this color scheme for them is kind of odd, because you have basically in each black book another color scheme. But how it's described in the books, in the novels, in the novels, uh, they have an oily color scheme. So uh, multiple shades over each other could work over a metallic. Uh, of a metallic base paint, or you could just use Black Templar uh, and run it through an airbrush. Rules wise, so the Legion is Astartes rules for the uh, Iron Hands is they can never voluntarily go to ground, they need to make a morale check to sweep, and all shooting attacks made against them have their strength reduced by one. So now, a Praetor on a jet bike can't be instigated by any weapons anymore from shooting, which is good. But the thing is, jump uh, jet bike Praetors for the Iron Hands, possible, but not the fluffiest thing to do, but that was just an example. And the Praetor, like for the Iron Iron Morris, the Warsmith, their Praetor can have a servo arm because you can pay 35 points and make him an Iron Father. Then we come to the World Eaters. The butchers of the Great Crusades came in weathered white armor, often still with the blood of their enemies on them wielding chain axes and they are at home in the thickest in the thickest of battle and in, in the thickest of fighting in the heart of battle the sons of angron are fashioned after the are fashioned after the uh, gladiators that followed um, that followed spartacus so they rampage through the they rampage through their enemies in like in open in battles but in duels they actually get one more weapon skill so that is very good <coughs> sorry um and like rules wise they can get chain swords for free 
uh, no, they can't get chainsaws for free. But if you have access to a chainsaw, you are free to exchange. It's free to exchange it for a chain axe, which is a better weapon. Um, they get rage, and after Istvan, they get rampage. But before that, they get only rage. Um, the tactics of them pretty much boil down to get your tactical marines or assault marines into melee and beat the, and beat somebody up. That's pretty much their playing style. And I think, although it's befitting, it would be nice if they would have something else to do. They are an older legion and they kind of suffer, suffer from it, but they are not as bad as the Empress Children, so they are still playable the way you are intended to play them. Now we come to the 13th Legion, everybody's favorite, the Ultramarines, the Warrior Kings of Ultramar. The Ultramarines and 30k are the most successful Legion and the biggest, and Gulliman Forge them into one of the more successful legions. But, other than uh, most people believe, they're not just blue uh, polished armor and blue ceramide. They actually are very good warriors. And in the Shadow Crusade, the word bearers and the world eaters had to feel that. Uh, in the game, the Ultramarines are one of the better legions with interlocking tactics and a lot of bonuses to their morale, so it's hard for you to make them run, but it's also they also um, make you suffer from... Uh, <coughs> sorry. They make you suffer from multiple units firing at the same units. So, they are very strong. They come... Uh, they come, they are blue, sapphire blue, but the Codex Astartes and Gilliman actually allowed camouflage, so uh, for example, uh, the Nemesis chapter is the, <coughs> sorry, the Nemesis chapters for example, they are blue, because they are, uh, they are black, because they are all destroyers. So with Ultramarines you have a little more leniency on maybe just having the uh, maybe just having the pauldrons blue and the other and everything else is black so and also the suzerains and fulamentaris are awesome units and they have some awesome characters so now we are talking about the 14th legion death the death guard are the companions of the grim reaper motarion they specialize in attrition warfare and world killing weapons, never shying away from the use of chem flamers or red grenades. The officers usually are fashioned with scythes, uh, and the infantry assaults of the world, world Death Guard are, are famous with the support of walkers and terminators. So, Motarion. When he was on Barbarous, he had his Death Guard, his own Death Guard, not the Death Guard you, uh, not the Death Guard on the uh, in the game, and they were walking through the camp clouds, and killing the uh, the armies of the warlords. So that's why Motarion favors um, favors. Infantry combat so much more. The Dusk Raiders actually used the Death Guard used vehicles, but the Dusk Raiders actually used them a lot before Motarion. But after him, they didn't. They didn't use them so much. Well, rules-wise, they get a disgusting feeling of pain against Fleshbane weapons. They can exchange all flamers for chem flamers. And they get the Power Scythe weapon. Um, certain rights of war give you your red grenades, 
on the sergeants, which is which are also very nice, and they are come like in a cream, cream mainly weathered look color scheme with green shoulders. And they are also a painter's delight, or if you want to learn how to weather, the Death Guard may be painter squad to learn how to weather. Because the Death Guard are heavily weathered. Like the the World Eaters have a, a couple of blood, uh, blood splatters all over the armor, all over, all over the face. The Death Guard, through the weapons they use, they have like weathering all over the armor so you can go crazy basically and you can either cover up mistakes with it or make it look like one of the best looking armies on the on the planet if you are that that talented yeah and that's all what i wanted to tell you in today's video um thank you a lot please like comment and subscribe share if you like the video and goodbye.